you know, I have to get up every time a cop comes by and take my blanket from underneath me and make sure that I'm not covered up. I'm not out here because I choose to be. I don't have a place. And because I don't have a place, I'm, that's why I'm out here. Uh, it is really cold. And it was really cold last night. And I don't want to be here. And if I could get a job, I would. But I am so tired. I just want to sleep. That's all I want to do, you know? Yeah. And I can't sleep no matter where I go. I'm tired of fucking rolling my bags. I'm so tired of all of it. I just want to sleep. But at the same time, I have to get a job. I have to make money. I have two boys who need me. And God bless that they're not here. But how am I supposed to get back to them if I can't sleep? How am I supposed to work? Right. Deborah said earlier that it's torture. And it is. I can't even think straight because I haven't slept. No one thinks straight when they go hours without sleeping. Days, you know. And I can understand why some of these people turn to drugs just to keep them up. I don't know what this is about, but the right to rest sounds right to me. I want to sleep. I don't have anything. I don't have blankets that I can use out here because they said that they will tell me to take them from underneath me. You can't have anything over you and you can't have anything underneath you. And I think that's bullshit. Because what about, what about us? What, how are we supposed to get out of this if we don't have a chance? And we don't have a chance if we don't have a right to sleep, right? Right. I need, I need sleep. I mean, that's all I need. And if I could sleep at least six hours, then I'd be all right. Looking for a job would be easier. Getting a place would be easier. You can't expect us to get out of this situation if you're not helping. Right. Right. Sorry, thank you. Hey, somebody from Denver Homeless Out Loud want to point that girl in the right direction for a blanket?